How's it going, Andrea? Hey, Johan. Nice. Welcome to my dome. How do you like it? Thanks for building it for me. You're welcome. I'll build anything for you. Ah, really? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. I love this dome. It's like living in my own bubble. How long have you had this? Five years. Nice. And it's working good for you? Oh, it's so wonderful. It's the ideal living environment. Nice. I've always wanted to live in a dome, and when I finally got a dome, I understood it just was the way that it that life was meant to be. Living outside, living inside, having it all together in one. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Mo, well, you're in, you're like the, the dome dog. You're the dome dog. I actually have pictures on my phone of her from the dome still. Really? It's not a dome, I don't know what would cave. Let me just get the bike down, that's right. It's a little dog in here. It's a little dog. And we have this camera. This is the perfect house for me. I love living in here because I feel like I haven't been pulled out of nature, but planted in it. I love living in my dome. Look at this space. Look. Can you create a window this big? It's such a beautiful thing. And it feels like it's right there, not separated from me. Not separated from nature? Exactly. You're like right in the middle of it? Right in the middle of it all. Nice. And I love the feeling of, of all of the different shapes. In nature, you don't have boxes everywhere. You have all kinds of shapes. Continually looking at, you know, look at a leaf, look at a bubble, look at, uh, you know, the way that a tree grows, the way that everything grows, it grows in such a multitude of shapes. And inside here, you can have every shape that you want. So it becomes a, you know, it's the microcosm of the macrocosm. It allows you to live within everything while at the same time giving you the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, that shell, a little bit of a shell to protect you so that you're not overwhelmed. Nice. Beautiful. And when you finally find that piece of property that you love, you can put a dome on it in a couple of weeks for such a small amount of money and immediately you're living on your property and enjoying it as opposed to kind of going against nature. She's so photogenic. to go under the dome. Really? Yes. Nice. She thinks that's fun. <laughs> nice. So this makes a good yoga studio too, I hope, huh? It's such a perfect yoga studio. I love it for yoga. Again, you know, any any time I'm 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 one of those crazy yogi that yogis that likes to go into all kinds of environments in order to do my yoga practice. Being in a box doesn't work for me, because then what am I doing? I'm putting myself back in the box. I want space and room, and this allows for exactly that. Beautiful hardwood floor with, um, you know, the room to move as much as you want, and the breath within. It's almost like... Lock on the door? Uh huh. That's extra important. Yes, right. Safety first.